to your floor. I want to be his rocky queen. You could be mine, Alex Ross. I'd never be out of line. Please punch me in the head like you punched Aaron Everly in the It's So Easy video. That's true love right there. She didn't appreciate you when you were beating her. She didn't, she didn't understand. That's true love. Violence is love. I have borderline personality disorder. Ah, and so does everyone else who obsessively loves this man. But there's no correlation. I don't even know why you brought it up. That has nothing to do with anything. He just gets better with age. Wow. <laughs> Alex Ross. I really liked in, in, in St. Louis when he attacked and assaulted that man in the crowd. A fan just trying to record his favorite artist. What a punk. Alex Ross handled him like a man. And then he bitch slapped him while being surrounded by like 10 security guards. That's what real men do. He's so misunderstood. Oh, Alex Ross. Oh. Oh. You could be mine, Alex, if you just noticed me. I know we'd fall in love and get married. Oh. Tried stuffing enchiladas in my pussy at the last GNR show, but you didn't even look my way, Alex. Why can't you just look my way, Alex? I know we're meant to be together. You know who knows a lot about Alex Ross? Joe Henry Hitchens. Mojo. Mojo. <laughs> He's a true thing. He knows the truth. The GNR truth. Not the lies of the haters. He proves that they're erroneous. He says erroneous a lot. Wow. He's been arrested three times for first degree theft and twice for public intoxication. And he's on the band's payroll to take down videos and harass people on social media. He's a real fan. It's erroneous. He proved it that it's it's erroneous that Alex Ross sounds like Mickey Mouse. A subjective opinion that a singer sounds like a cartoon character is erroneous. And that's a fact. And Joe proved it. I'm part of his creepy cult. Cause if I can get close to Joe, I can get close to Fernando. And if I can get close to Fernando, I can get close to Bill Abbas. And if I can get close to Bill Abbas, I can get close to Alex Ross. Oh, oh, yeah, Alex Ross, he's so handsome, he's so pretty, he's so sensitive, he's the greatest singer ever, he puts so much effort into it, he always changes up the set list. Oh, Alex Ross, I love his stringy scarecrow hair and the bulging vein in his forehead. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where's, where's that?
Alex? <laughs> what, where'd Alex go? What is this? I'm scared. I want to go home. But Alex ain't at home. He should be at home. If I could just get him alone. If I could just... I, 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 I pretend. I pretend to be a fan of Feta. But, but secretly I know. I know that, that she... Oh, there he is. I know that, that she... She's the reason for all the problems in his life. And if I could just get him alone, then, then he could be mine <laughs> forever. Listen, fat boy. Listen, fat boy. You're going to sing for me now. You're going to sing. Oh, no. You're gonna sing for me. You're never gonna leave this room. Okay, chumpster. You're gonna be mine. I'm gonna have you all to myself. You're never gonna see Beta again. You're never gonna see anybody again. You're just gonna be with me. Wah, wah.